Check your mouths, find your chairs, and get set for Halo 3 ODST 100% Badass Edition. Hello everybody, this is JP3 here with our sixth and final flashback mission in the Halo 3 ODST 100% Badass Legendary Playthrough, Kikawani Station. Night falls on the flooded New Mombasa ruins. And we take to the skies in a banshee. And boy, is this level just the perfect mix of being challenging and fun. I love a pure banshee mission. Just the whole idea of it uh, seems woefully non existent throughout any other Halo campaign. Uh, yeah, they should have more banshee heavy missions. There are funner Banshees to fly than the Halo 3 Banshee, certainly. The Reach Banshee's a blast. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of partial to the uh, Halo 2 Banshee. That one can be... That's, that's pretty fun. Hey, Halo 4 and, you know, Halo 5 Banshees ain't bad. So, yeah, just start off by uh, shooting these dudes in the face. And then run over here and trade out your uh, assault rifle for a sniper rifle, or beam rifle, as they call it in uh, every other place ever. And then I like to try to line these guys up. Man, you got dudes falling all over the place. You got fuel rod, uh, troll rod grunt back there. You definitely need to kill. You can get this box to sometimes work for you if you shoot it at the right time. I don't know. It's hard because, you know, every time someone falls or whatever, the reticle gets dragged. But uh, it doesn't matter, dude. We are still rocking and rolling. I don't know where that dude's little arm hand hole is. So we just shoot him in the foot. This brute here decides that he doesn't like reticles being pointed at him, but, uh... I, yeah, I don't even know what to say about that. And we are out just before, just right before. So I take a fresh beam rifle, and I do like it fresh. Like my, uh, like my, like my food. I don't know, grab one of these things or whatever. It's kind of a turd. We won't keep it for long. There might be a troll over here left, but uh, it looks like uh, Mickey was able to uh, take care of him while we were uh, arming up. And then, you know, grab you one of these things, one of these funky craft here. And you know, how you handle this is totally up to you. If you're doing a kill everything kind of thing, then... Uh, I like to go ahead and try to take out these uh, stationary turrets as soon as I can, if at all possible. And you know, and then as these guys uh, spawn in or whatever, uh, bomb the hell out of them. I think there's a turret right there too. Um, the scariest part of this section here is the grunts and brutes that come out. Sometimes uh, the jackal snipers or marksmen or whatever. Those guys that are generally on those ledges we were just shooting at. Uh, they're pretty scary, believe it or not. I'm kind of standing still, well, flying still. Notice how the fuel rod curves, because that's real fun. It doesn't do that for you, but anyway. And, um, but notice how I'm just kind of standing in place. Uh, it, and the reason why I'm doing that is that I guess it kind of keeps me nimble. I can move if I need to. And, um, I don't know, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Another thing to do is it enhances, obviously, the accuracy of the Banshee Bomb, which uh, seems in no way, shape, or form affected by, assisted by, or anything like that. Any sort of tracking or uh, aim assist or anything like that. It just fires a straight bolt. Very much different than every other Banshee Bomb that I'm aware of. Except for maybe the one in Halo 4. But I've had a lot more luck shooting things accurately with that. So I'm not really sure what to make of it. So we got two Banshees that will fly out of here. I usually like to try to uh, get behind them. Uh, notice how we uh, whooped his ass with a fuel rod. But uh, doesn't destroy him outright if he's at uh, full or near full health. But, uh, you know, puts a hurting on him just enough to where we can destroy him pretty fast afterward. We just uh, plasma gun, rifle, plasma forward auto cannon that dude to shreds. And now we've got uh, a tower here with some grunts on it, manning turrets. Come on up in this 
place here and you've got some more grunts that are going to appear down there where I just shot that bolt with fuel rods just put it right in the midst of their collective uh, guts or faces I don't know why I said guts but anyway and uh, you should be good wow that troll crap almost killed me because I thought it was going to be I thought it was shot at the phantom which normally it does shoot at the phantom and it seemed like it was angled toward it until it was not anymore the fuel rod we'll use later when we have to be on foot I always like to try and snatch this thing and uh, that dude drags my reticle off and I don't think I get to it so I just leave it alone notice how their fuel rods do track in some very odd strange way just you know be wary of that garbage yeah, if you blow up the little uh, squid house there and then hit the phantom with just one banshee fuel rod or banshee bomb, then it will destroy it outright. Um, I used to be able to do that very, very, very routinely, and it seems like... What the hell? And it seems like that um, when I tried this run, if I remember well, but I just couldn't ever get it to, to do. It just wouldn't ever seem to work, so not really sure why that was, so... Trying to do some Banshee tricks here, use the Banshee Bomb, and, you know, it's it's hard. It's just, it's really, really hard to aim. It just, it has a very, very, very straight, I mean, whichever way you're facing at the time is the way it's going to go. It does not correct in any way, shape, or form for Red Reticle or anything like that at all. Um, so anyway, and the Banshees can be destroyed, of course, by, uh, you know, enough uh, damage unlike in Halo 2 which was the last Halo where you could get in a Banshee uh, at least in the campaign prior to ODST so be careful for that when they tell you hey your Banshee's looking ragged you might want to grab a new one might be a good idea to grab a new one whereas in Halo 2 you can doesn't really matter it will never be destroyed unless you die while it is uh, in the process of being destroyed like I believe every other vehicle in Halo 2. Anyway, enough about Halo 2. So let's just uh, gun this thing down here, the squid house there, and then shoot our hopefully straight and tried and true Banshee Bomb there. It should destroy the Phantom there, as you can see. It's really nice. Not really sure how necessary it is. You could probably speed through this uh, pretty easily. Just trying to get that troll... For some reason down there, he is uh, not doing right. Maybe we can finally take this ghost out now-ish. Maybe, sort of, yes. Alright, so I like to come out here really fast and again try the same exact thing. Shoot the Banshee Bomb. It barely connects with it. And while we risk life and limb, we nonetheless are able to get it. So we've got some anti-air wraiths here, which are no bueno at all, but generally not that big of a threat if you uh, come behind them like this. Missed the Banshee Bomb bear there, but that's okay. It's no big deal. Three of those anti-air wraiths, by the way, if you uh, weren't counting. I Don't ask me why I'm destroying that. Just am. I think I was hitting... <laughs> it's, it's messed up. It's all janked up, dude. What happened, man? Stop drinking the grog and focus on the mission, is what I would say if I was the leader of the Brutes. So I'm trying to get up high so I don't get trolled by the guys on the sides. As I said last time, they were the scariest thing. Well, they we have the same setup here. Here comes the Jackal Marksman and the Tracking Rod Troll Grunts, but we're just laying it on them with loads and loads of hot hot delicious plasma big risk there I think I don't know maybe I knew they were all dead because I've got scoring on nope see I knew it was a big risk but we'll gun that dude down where he stands and now we're gonna see yeah there's some brutes over here with brute shots the phantom has wonderfully friendly and awesome AI who spend most of the time shooting at the engineers instead of at the enemies that actually present as a threat as seen there it's awesome so this is where you actually go on foot very fun section here a lot of the sandbox previously and currently in this room available to you so uh, 
and a lot of enemies. A lot of different ways you can handle this. I generally prefer to just go in uh, missing shots, I guess. I don't know. I like to let them just keep taking the turret, and usually they won't disappoint you. At some point, though, I will generally like to... God bless. I hate that Halo 3 sniper rifle for the love of God. <laughs> it's just sick. So I guess we'll just get rid of the turret now. <laughs> that wasn't working out too well. The reticle wasn't working in my favor there. It didn't seem at all. <laughs> Somebody was pissed off over there. And Inviso guy got stuck on some sort of uh, geometry, so we unstuck him. Oh, brother. If it just shot where I aimed, man. If it just shot where I aimed. Just shoot where I aimed, you silly reticle, you. <laughs> so the chieftain will eventually make an appearance once you take out enough of his pals. His ass pals. What? And eventually he'll go invincible, which is the dumbest and stupidest armor ability of all time. A real genius thought of that one one day. Hey, let's give him invincibility. <laughs> this guy's dead to rights, of course, at this juncture. Because we got the power weapons, dude. We took a powder, a stop off, and grabbed that on the way over here, as you, I hope, remember. And the cool thing is, is there's even more in here. Even more, just in case you need it. I always like to grab it. Just in case, you know, you never know when you need... You might need 30 fuel rod shots. So as soon as you get the chance, and are, I guess, not worried that something's going to troll you, go in there and press... Press, press that button. And this is one of the more jank parts of the mission. The Scarab knows exactly where you're at at all times. And it will follow you mercilessly. Mercilessly. Should have never came out of that bubble shield, dude. That's true faith in Covenant technology right there, man. Whoa. Oh, health. So yes, it knows where you're at at all times. It knew from the moment you stepped foot in this arena. As you can see there, it knows exactly where you're at. doesn't matter if you're in cover or not. It does not matter. Uh, the biggest problem with this mission, by far, is the stupidity of... The fake smart of the AI. They're so smart they know where you're at at all times. No, that's just stupid. And I ran out of sniper rifle there, so... Beam rifle, charge, or whatever. Dude throws down a bubble shield, even though I'm not even close to him. But we're gonna take him out. I mean, we can't let this dude live. And this tragic little fart rolls up in that bubble shield but we're not going anywhere at all all that piece of crap armor ability does is prolong the inevitable yet it remained in Halo 3 ODST uh, blowing those things up does help take it out take out the legs but I don't believe we go that route at all here I think we go the route of just, uh, I don't know, crash landing onto it and uh, taking it out the hard way. The Master Chief way, as demonstrated in Halo 2's Metropolis. That dude gets wrecked while we're uh, taking on fire from the all-knowing, all-seeing Scarab gun. We get need... Our Benchy got knee just then. I don't know if you knew. That's a, that's what that was. It took a knee. I'm not really sure what I was thinking here, other than, I don't know, that I would do that for whatever reason. I mean, you can kill them all, 
by taking this thing down. So, yeah, let's put that round his ass. Because why not, dude? Why not? I mean, for real. This guy over here. He's having a blast. He's laughing. He's having a good time. Now he's uh, melted. I hear another grunt. Where is this guy at? I do not care. I'll let him blow up with the rest of the, uh, with the scarab itself. Ugh. Oof. You might be able to crouch jump up there if you're smart or good. I mean, this is totally stupid. I could, I should totally be wrecked there. I nearly got trapped in the geometry. That was funny. Anywho, so just I'll go open this door here. You should be, should be a banshee right here, hanging out. Deliciously ready for me to uh, hop on in it. And then just come over here and take out one of these little recharge stations. And it all goes up in a hot, searing, bright blaze of plasma. And that is the end, baby. Kick a one station under our belts now. It really is an awesome mission. I gripe, I gripe, I gripe, but it's 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 a blast. I really enjoy it. Well, if you like this video, please, please, please hit that thumbs up button. Use the comment section to talk about your favorite memories with this level or with playing ODST or maybe some other game. I don't know. You can talk about other things in there too. You know, just keep it uh you know non political, if you don't mind. I don't even know why I say that. Um, subscribe. Hit the thumbs up button if you haven't already. As for now, this is JP3 signing out. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and thank you very, very, very much for watching. Goodbye.